ho, 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 ho. Merry Christmas, everybody. It's your frisky, frosty friend, JT, here. And you know what? I thought now would be the perfect time for you guys to join me on one of the most holly jolly festive house tours that you ever did see. This is my Christmas 2020 house tour. We've got so many things to see, so many things to talk about. It's been three years since I've done a house tour for Christmas, so it is high time. But before we get into it, I do have to ask a quick favor. Please take a moment to go get some Christmas cookies or some delicious snacks, grab yourself some cocoa, and watch while you drink and snack, because I, I guarantee you that's gonna make it a lot more enjoyable. I'll give you a moment. Okay, I can't wait anymore. Here we go. Welcome to JT Shine's Christmas 2020 house tour. Let's do it. Our toasty little tour begins in my living room where Santa's elves have been spreading Christmas cheer all over the place. For starters, I've got this big teddy bear playing drums that lights up. And underneath my tree, I have a couple Fraggle Rock plushies hanging out. This show's Christmas special is one of my favorites. I even put some snowflake shades on Gobo Fraggle here. The tree in my living room is pretty standard. I put multicolored lights on it, some gold garland, and a random assortment of ornaments. Over on my coffee table, I've got some frosty snowman stuff going on, including this three-way dish filled with old-fashioned Christmas candy. I really love the design of the ceramic snowman in the middle. Speaking of snow boys, this frozen fella is made out of a soft, kind of sweater-like fabric. He's got buttons, a scarf, a carrot nose, a top hat, and even little tree branch arms. On my couch, there are some Christmassy pillows along with a nice little Santa Claus plushie. And I've even got a holly jolly Christmas tree pillow. Look at his little face! It's adorable! I, I really like his pom-pom ornaments too. Above the sofa here, I set up a nice little snowy scene, complete with hanging snowflakes. And as you can see, it is home to a mama polar bear and her little cub. I like to pretend that they live in this little igloo. I also have this large ceramic figure of the big guy himself. It's actually pretty detailed. Just across the room on my shelf space, there is a winter wonderland going on. So let's check it out, shall we? I've got a Christmas bush in a bag. It's confusing, but it's very merry, so I like it. And also, this Christmas tree lantern is so, so cozy. Over here, there's a giant snowy pine cone, a little tree, some ornaments, and an adorable penguin. Oh, and I can't forget about this Christmas house. It's from Martha Stewart, so you know it was overpriced. I love vintage holiday artwork, so these three display books are Santa-tastic. I love Nutcracker soldiers, and these guys are a totem. You could crack three nuts at once. That's pretty impressive. On the lower shelf, I have another Nutcracker, but this guy, as you can see, is a fat, stubby soldier. Can you actually crack nuts with these things? I'm not sure, I've never tried. I got a lot of frosty, fashionable birds on display in here too. Oh, and I love these neat wooden trees. Their colors and simple patterns really remind me of old school Christmas designs. In the corner here, I've got a huge Christmas wreath on display. And of course, here I am exhibiting my merry manhood to prove just how large it is. On the top of the shelf, I displayed a bunch of Christmas cards from family and friends. In the back corner by my stairs, I've hung up some Christmas gift bags to use as decor. There's a lot of fun designs here. It wouldn't be the Christmas season without Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer serenading us with his iconic saxophone skills. It's time to move into my cozy kitchen, and I think a good place to start would be the drafty display on my table. This is one of my favorite new items. When you squeeze St. Nick's tummy, he starts climbing up the ladder to put lights on a Christmas tree. It plays music too. I freaking love this. Here's another giant snow-covered pine cone. Sometimes I like to tickle it and pretend it's my pet. There's something so charming and wonderful about snowmen, and this guy in particular is really nicely made. He just looks so frosty. Oh, and speaking of snowmen, I love the sparkly glitter added to this guy. It gives him some razzle-dazzle. 
This light up snowball has a peaceful, relaxing glow to it. This frosted spearmint candle smells so good, you may even be able to sniff it through the video. I like the ice crystal lid design too. The very essence of wintertime is my centerpiece on the table here. This large wooden snowflake statue is so cool. And just above the table, I've attached a couple big candy canes together on the lights. I feel like, I feel like it's pretty dang festive up here. And the shelf in my kitchen is bursting with holly jolly joy. I've got a couple little toy winter scenes that light up and play some music here. This glass reindeer is one of my oldest and most favoritest items in my collection. And look at this little plush cocoa mug. He's even got a little marshmallow friend warming up in the hot cocoa. This reindeer is dressed up like Santa, and I gotta say, his little beard made me instantly want to bring him home. This guy's living it up. He's even got his own campfire and sled. Now sometimes, I would say, cheaper decorations can be just as great as anything else, which is why I love these honeycomb paper trees. These four toys are from a ski slope that you place under a tree. I used to have the entire thing when I was a kid, but for now, all I have left are the cute little characters. On the tippy top of the shelf, I've got some delicious dessert decor. These two gingerbread people are definitely favorites of mine. Oh, and I gotta give some love to this sugary sweet gingerbread nutcracker soldier. Look at him. He's got frosting for a beard and a pretzel scepter. This guy means business. I even got a little s'mores buddy chilling up here too. I've got some festive lights and garland above my cabinets, and a flock of feathered friends hanging out on top of the refrigerator. Let's continue our cheerful tour over to my countertops where I've got all sorts of jolly goodness happening. For example, this glossy ceramic Christmas tree is a pretty great place to stash some yummy cookies. And continuing my obsession with nutcrackers, I've even got little salt and pepper shaker soldiers. Look at those fanciful mustaches. And I think now is a great time to go over some of my favorite Christmas treats, like this big jug of cocoa mix. I really love the artwork on the tube. And I got some peppermint bark jingle bell chocolates in this reindeer dish. And look at this, little teeny tiny chocolate Santa candies that you melt in milk to make your own cocoa. These are a brilliant idea. They're peppermint flavored candy cane spoons to use as a mixer for your cocoa. And I got some sugar cookie M&Ms that are pretty tasty too. And a roll of candy cane Mentos to keep my breath nice and frosty fresh. But of course, I cannot forget about Puddles the Snowman here either. I don't think I'm ever gonna eat him. Back in the corner of the kitchen, I've got some little woodland pals hanging out in the snow. They're staying warm by a campfire and enjoying the wonders of a wintry Christmas season together. Here's another cookie jar, but this time it's Santa's big, fat, happy head. And then back here, I have a milk chocolate Santa candy bar. I like the wrapper so much that, once again, I'm probably not going to eat it. We've got some fun happening over here, too. For example, I really love the design of this tree. It's all covered in snow, it has a glittery stand, and it has some nice, shiny, reflective ornaments on it. This is one of my favorite cocoa mugs. As you can see, it's a nice little polar bear, and he even comes with his own glass spoon. Okay, you guys, this is honestly one of the best Christmas cereals ever. It's a freaking Elf on the Shelf breakfast cereal, and I gotta say, it's pretty yum yum. And it's the official cereal of the North Pole. Now, don't tell anybody, but I got a secret premium cocoa stash back here. French vanilla is probably my favorite. Irish cream is amazing. Butterscotch. And even salted caramel. It ain't Christmas time without a mug of cocoa. And finally, next to my pantry, there are a few more items of interest. Naturally, we gotta count down to the big day when Santa himself shows up, so I have this brand new snowman countdown figure. I like the little cardinal birdie on his hat. And this Christmas cheer candle smells like spicy cinnamon. These trees are pretty unique too. They're made from layers of felt. Here's a new candy dish that I picked up. It looks like a chimney with Santa climbing on it. And inside, I've even got Nutcracker Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. They're pretty tasty. As you can see over here, I've got a snazzy snowflake lantern on display. The candle inside is peppermint chocolate and it smells amazing. It's a pretty peaceful, soothing lantern. 
One of my absolute favorite new items this year is this huge sparkly silver tree. I love shiny things in case you can't tell by now. Let's move our butts into my bathroom. It's actually super cozy in here and I filled my shelves with fluffy snow, garland, and lights. Of course, Santa deserves to be proudly displayed on the very top here. He's got quite the beard. Look at that beard! Oh, and these nutcracker ornaments are amazing. I got some little nerdy birdies in their snappy scarves here. And on the bottom, I have a very merry Bigfoot just relaxing in the snow. Now over on the smaller shelf, I have a couple of trees and a big, joyful snowman. And down here, I've displayed a glowy snowflake statue and Santa and friends in a truck. This wooden pin statue in the shape of Santa is another one of my favorite items. It just kind of looks vintage and Norwegian, very Christmassy. Over by my sink, I've got more stuff on display than ever before. I decorated this fake bush plant with some garland and a big golden bow, and this Santa figure has a sack of presents and a little mini tree in his hand. This is a little plate for soap, but I don't want to block Santa's face. And I've even got Santa tissues to blow my drippy nose in, but I haven't done that yet because, I don't know, that, that might be pretty naughty. And it might seem pointless to buy soap and then never actually use it, but the package on this peppermint-scented soap is too nice to ruin, so I just leave it here. And this Christmas tree is pretty fun because it's made out of little bits of string. And uh, I like to use ornaments in different ways sometimes, so I hot glued this one to the bathroom light switch. It's a little Santa switch. I would also like to point out that there are lights and garland around my mirror and little frosty, glittery snowman stickers. Down here, I have undoubtedly the biggest snow globe that I've ever seen sold in stores. It's over a foot tall, and it's pretty heavy. Our sleigh has arrived in tonight's final location, my bedroom. This is where all the merry magic happens. First up, we're going to check out all the neat stuff around my desk area. Over here, I've got a brand new Pleasant Toy Soldier. He's like a blow mold that lights up. I love the extra glittery details on him. Oh, and I've even given him the job of feeding Santa's reindeer. Look at this candy cane guy! He's an ornament for your tree, but I like him so much, I really just wanted to display him on my desk. And instead of putting ornaments on a tree, this one is literally made from ornaments. It's super unique and honestly one of my favorite decor items. Here's a mini North Pole blimp. It's got some nice details including little presents and even a frosty tree inside of the basket. And behind here I have some ornaments just hung up on my wall. This toy soldier is definitely very retro and the Santa hot air balloon is pretty fun too. And, uh, this, this fellow proves that not all snowmen need to be plumpy round boys. His cone shape is pretty chill. Ooh, and check it out, I literally have jingle bells. I'm always taking notes of ideas and writing to-do lists, so this little mini penguin notebook comes in very handy. And this icebreaker's gum came in a pretty unique container. And here's a wooden block nutcracker sign that's kind of neat. Right next to my monitor is a baby Christmas tree decorated with snowflakes. And just under it are a couple cute forest friends. This deer has a soft fuzzy texture and lots of detail. She's so cute. And speaking of cute, here's a merry little mouse who is about to chomp down on a delicious Christmas acorn. I burn a lot of pine, cinnamon, and peppermint candles this time of the year, so I needed a fancy golden candle holder to display them in. I love this peppermint hand sanitizer because it makes my hands smell delicious. My friend Dan gave me this eye-catching keyboard that lights up as an early Christmas gift, so even my keyboard is in the holly jolly spirit. Got some more hand sanitizer, but this time it's gingerbread scented, and I picked up this totally pointless but very neat sleeve for it. But I think it's time to lift our spirits upwards to my shelf space cause oh boy do we got some joyous goodness up here. Just look at how happy this polar bear's face is. He's loving living up here among the pine trees. And of course he's got a friend up here too. It's a flannel pattern deer which is sort of cool. I also have some fake birch logs tied up for some added atmosphere here. Now on the bottom shelf a family of chipper birdies is snuggled up in their little homestead. 
I bet they're sipping cocoa in there. I made these dangling icicles out of glitter paper, and behind them I even hid some additional blue lighting as a bonus. And here's a fun, unique item. It is, of course, Santa's big sack of presents. I like the added details, like the fur around the opening and the little bells hanging on the side. Frosty over here is definitely prepared for the Yuletide fun, too. He's got a top hat, mittens, scarf, and even a broom for some reason. Not an inch of my house has gone without Christmas cheer. I've even wrapped shiny garland and big stars around my TV. And just underneath my television, I have one of my favorite snow globes and a couple wooden ballet figures. Random fact, I'm actually in ballet classes myself. And as you can see, there's even been a massive snowstorm down here. And of course, the locals are taking advantage of the Winter Wonderland. This little elf even got himself a snowmobile. And you guys know I love me some little critters, so here are two hedgehogs made from pine cones. I've had these two standing lanterns since I moved into my house, and I've displayed them on the sides of my TV every year for Christmas time. They've sort of become a tradition for me. And now this shelf is where the festive fowl really like to hang out. I got super into collecting these little winter birds from Target. I think there's about 15 of them in my collection now. It's getting a little out of hand. Here is yet another new item for Christmas 2020. It's a big cone-shaped Santa Claus. He's made out of felt, and I gotta say, he, he has quite the impressive mustache going on. These are a couple more of those, uh, those fake books, but they're fun size. The artwork on these is quite wonderful. Uh, it's very antique and reminiscent of the good old days. The nights get pretty cold, but I've got bundles of blankets to stay warm on my bed. And just behind my bed, you'll see that I've put up wrapping paper on the wall to add to the festivity. And then on the bed itself, I have these giant shiny plush ornaments. They're pretty unusual, but I really like them. Oh, and look at this cute little stubby sloth. He's even got earmuffs on. And cookies, by the way, are not just for eating. They're also for snuggling. This gingerbread couple are actually pillows. I, I haven't really snuggled them because that would be weird. Let's move over to my bedroom tree because this year I have a new tree stand that looks like a toy drum. As far as ornaments go, I've got a Fortnite booty proudly on display, a warm Santa sweater, a chompin' shark in a scarf, a lucky banana and a cute little penguin, another shark because of course, a sleepy mouse in a chestnut shell, and here's a vintage snowman that was actually given to me by my grandma. And this little Santa on a star swing is from her as well. I really like this little couple on a ski lift. It's pretty great because they're wooden. Of course, I've got a glittery dino, and I used to be Peter Pan's friend at Disney World, so naturally, I have an ornament of him too. Here's a nice puffy Santa Claus, and a scruffy Sasquatch, and this pair of ballet point shoes is all fancy and crystallized. Now just next to my tree is a huge Nutcracker soldier and a big Saint Nick. I'm sitting next to them for size comparisons. <laughs> Now this guy is a new item that I bought for 2020. He's a sexy saxophone playing Santa. I need to keep track of the days until Santa Claus arrives, so this plush countdown calendar comes in quite handy. Oh, and check out these unbelievably soft and snuggly Christmas socks. They're crazy thick and warm. I like them a lot. And finally, it wouldn't be a JT Holiday House Tour if I didn't highlight a pair of shoes. Uh, these are a sexy patent leather high top Maison Margiela sneaker, and their color is red, which is perfect for the season. Well, I hope you guys have enjoyed this Christmas house tour. I had a lot of fun putting it together. I'm pretty much living in Christmas bliss every day of the season, and I could not be more grateful for that very fact. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I will be back very soon with more Christmas videos here at JT Shine. So until then, I will see you guys really, really soon.